hello, Americans and all other people across the world. <laughs> what? I'm playing we are some Americans and all the people across I'm, the world. I'm playing some patriotic music because it is July and in just a few days it will be uh, Independence Day. And uh, more the commonly, aliens are going to come blow us up. More commonly referred to as the Fourth of July, and uh, so I decided to play some fife and drum music. This is the uh, music from Liberty Square in Walt Disney World. Oh yeah. So, um... Kind of sounds like uh, the music I w was hearing when I went to Williamsburg. Yeah, same idea. Yeah. So, uh... This is our July update. Don't have a lot to report, and I'll explain why. But before we get started, let me welcome Brian again. Hello, Brian. Hello again. Thanks for having me. So, I'd like to wish everybody who celebrates... A happy 4th of July. And also coming up later in the month, it'll be Disneyland's 67th birthday. 67 years. 67 of years. Wow. Yes. That's crazy. So in honor of these two holidays, I want to mention the song of the day quickly. I have... Um, a special block of uh, patriotic songs from July 1st through 10th and then from July 11th through 20th it'll be songs honoring Disneyland's 67th anniversary so just wanted to let you know about that Disneyland 67 <laughs> Disneyland 67 is that one of the songs no oh if you have not already, and if you have the means to do so, you can support us over on Patreon. And for as little as $1 a month, you will receive special rewards. And uh, the higher you contribute, the more rewards you will receive in exchange. And I think the rewards are worth the price even if you weren't helping support us just to get those rewards it's worth paying what I think the value is far outweighs the cost of the donation so you should think about that and if you want to um, contribute you can do so at www.patreon.com slash Disney Chris yeah, and right as you said, all the rewards are great. About a hundred birds just landed on my roof. So maybe some of them will. Oh. That was crazy. Alfred Hitchcock. <laughs> I know. I was like, Suzanne Pochette. And... Uh oh. Oh boy. So, in addition, another way you can support us is if you go to our online store. We have stickers, t shirts, notebooks, mugs. Excuse me, I had oh, a big a yawn. <laughs> yeah, it's my fault. We're doing no. this an hour later, so we're cutting into Chris's bedtime. <laughs> no, no, it's not quite that late yet. So, uh, to get to the store, you go to jcpodcast.threadless.com and there's also other items not pictured and the t-shirts come in all different sizes and colors and styles there's also hoodies and um i think there's beach towels, towels. There's all sorts of things sippy cups yeah. water bottles you name it also you can follow us over on instagram jc podcast disney chris underscore jc underscore podcast and brian what's your instagram well it's pretty similar to yours in terms of content <laughs> yeah well brian runs it 
Yeah, I, I run this, and my Instagram is uh, Keeping Walt in Disney, all one word. And I, I usually share the same Im- images as Chris uh, has on his his Instagram, but I also throw out some neat uh, Walt Disney content, content, and live action film content, including our live action chats that uh, I do with uh, our good friend Jared so that's fun so follow us on Instagram please so now let's get to the heart of the matter and we'll talk about the Disneyland Magical Audio Tour and uh, I only have 11 new things added in uh, June so we'll show those and uh, the reason is because I'm nearing the end so a lot of the tracks that are left are very difficult to edit and time consuming so it's going slow but the good news is I only have four tracks left four? I, yes no. I got quite a I, I got quite a bit done despite it's not that much as far as the number of tracks but the amount of work it was a lot of work to get what I got done done because it was some challenging editing to say the least so let's just go through everything I did and uh, then we'll talk about this won't take too long so we have something else we're gonna talk about for a minute when that's done if you want to stick around I hope you do so here we are And what chapter are we on? We're on the Rivers of America. So everything, chapter one through chapter eight, has nothing marked as new on it, and it has nothing coming soon. So the first eight chapters are all done, nothing's new, it's been there for at least a month. So that's pretty amazing. That's about Very half amazing. the site. So, what's the first track that I did something with? What number? 69, dude. Okay, so... These are all redo on this chapter. I read... That music's a little loud. Let me turn it yeah, down. Yeah, it sounds great, though. But, yeah. There you go. That's better. So, this is the... Um, Fort Wilderness area background music. All three of these tracks were already available, but I cleaned them. I did some major cleaning and 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 uh, took out a lot of background noises and things, and made some huge improvements in the audio quality. Fort Wilderness is all like the music you hear on Tom Sawyer's Island. It's like harmonica. Like My Darling Clementine, Oh Susanna, Swanee River, those types of songs. Good stuff. I think Davy Crockett is one of the songs, things like that. And then um, the next one is, what is it, 81? 81. Mm-hmm. This is oh, all I love this area. sort of sea chanty type music, all different like sea songs with like a um, what do you call it? squeeze box and violins and sounds like you know sort of Columbia sailing ship music and the music you'd hear at the harbor house at Fowler's Harbor this was already on the site but I redid it it's got songs like um, a whale of a tale a life on the ocean waves You know, those types of sailing, sailing over the bounding main, those kind of songs. And then the last one, also a redo. Jean Lafitte. Lafitte's Tavern. So if you look inside and you can hear inside, there's like commotion going on and you hear music. That's this loop. I redid it. It's, It's all sort of C shanty kind of songs but it's also got a lot of sound effects you can hear like water and boats and fights and pirates and things like that so those three tracks have been completely redone 
but they're the same music as before. But the sound quality is improved. So this chapter is now fully finished. And the next awesome. chapter I worked on was chapter 12, right? Yep. And there's just track one track. I added in this. This wasn't part of the... This wasn't marked coming soon or anything. This is something brand new that I just fell upon that I added to the collection. And from now on, once I finish those four tracks, the, the collection will never be completed. So whenever something like that happens in the future, I will be adding them to the collection, just like I added this. And what this is, apparently, and I didn't know this until just recently, and I was provided with a complete playlist and I was able to find all the recordings used. This is uh, a extended outdoor queue area that they added in 2018 in front of the Matterhorn and it uses a different music loop than the loop you hear once you're in the loading part of the queue that's always been there. You know that building that's in front of the bobsleds that you go under that's always been there that has a different loop mm -hmm. but this outdoor part has oh. its own distinctive loop so that's what this is i added the brand new loop all the songs from the brand new loop so it still sounds like old stuff like it had always been there well it's that you know it's sort of like swiss polkas and folk, yeah. Swiss mm -hmm. folk songs and things. That Fredbury stuff. Yeah. So the next chapter is chapter 19. 19. Which is the Star Wars chapter. So this is the only chapter that we're looking at today. The other chapter is chapter 18, which is the 90s to present day Tomorrowland that's missing one track and this chapter is missing three tracks those are the four tracks all the other chapters are now done so oh so next month's updates only going to be 18 and 19 probably hopefully yeah. I think well, I'll be you... able to I'm pretty sure I'll be able to finish everything but but Especially number six and number seven are going to be really tough ones. So what these are are long playing albums, both sides. They're bo they're each about forty five minutes, and because it's side A and side B combined, and they're retellings of the stories of the movies for the episode six, uh, four, five, and six. Now, Episode 6, Return of the Jedi, is going to be a lot easier because when they made this album, they re-recorded everything in a studio. They didn't use any sound from the actual film. So all of the audio and everything is very clean and there's no ambient sounds in the background or anything like that. So this will probably go pretty smoothly. But the other two... Star Wars and The Empire Strikes Back are going to be difficult because it's all taken directly from the soundtrack of the films. So you've got all the shuffling of feet and moving around and all every noise that you can hear is, is present because it's just ripped right from the film. So I've already done 17 minutes of number 6, Star Wars, but it's 45 minutes long. And just by doing the first 17 minutes, I know it's a lot of work. That 17 minutes took a lot of work. So I've got an hour and a half of that between the two albums. So it's going to take a while. But what I did get done this month are these two down here. These are the two Ewok films. Um, actually, I think it's both the same film, but it's two different parts of the same film split into two records. These are short records. These are the little 45s. And it's, uh, you'll know it's time to turn the page when you hear the bell. You know, it's that type of record. Yeah, the See, Hear, and Read series. Right. 
Yeah. So this is the stories of the Ewoks, which was a made-for-TV film. This I've one is the. Those. This one, number fifteen, is actually the Ewok segment from Return of the Jedi. Oh, these, okay. Yeah. The, these two are from the movie. So that's what I did for chapter nineteen. Yeah, it's got the little blonde-haired dude. That's a girl, actually. Girl. Yeah. Yeah. See, I've never seen it. I need to go check those out. I think they're on Disney Plus. Probably. I haven't seen it either. I yeah. only know it's a girl because I just edited the record. So <laughs> <laughs> I know the story because I just heard it when I was editing it. <coughs> Excuse me. So the last chapter I worked on, and this one I just finished today. The chapter's fully done now. And when I say fully done, that's with an asterisk because whenever I run across something new, it will get added. So nothing is ever fully done on this website. But everything that is on the site, there's no, nothing marked coming soon. Everything that's there is now available. So I added five things to this chapter. All sort of towards the end. The first one is yeah, this 81. here. Mm -hmm. One Man's Dream. Ironically, this came out in 81, 1981 is when this aired. So, um, this was a two-hour special starring Dick Van Dyke, Michael Landon, Ben Vereen, um, Marie Osmond, Carl Reiner, and others. And it sort of tells the life story of Walt Disney. There's a fun song called Marceline where they take you through his boyhood and it's actually a young actor that plays Walt. And then um, Carl Reiner plays this like business executive that they keep going to to ask for money throughout Walt's <laughs> life and he keeps turning them. He That's says, like the running gag, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is really cute. It's got yeah. some really amazing songs about different like, there's a song that I really like called What If Nobody Comes. And it's like oh, yeah. what Walt was thinking the morning before Disneyland opened. It's really kind of an amazing song. Lots of great songs in this. All original songs. Um, highly recommend this one. People have been waiting for this one. And then I worked on three songs from this segment which is called Disney Family Album this was a Disney Channel series hosted by Buddy Ebsen who um, they focused on different Disney legends and Imagineers and aspects of Disney this was produced in the mid 80s and aired on the Disney Channel and it's got some pretty amazing interviews a lot of these people, if not all of them, are no longer with us, so it's pretty amazing to have documented all these. So I already had Ward Kimball and the Golden Horseshoe Review available, but there were three missing, which I worked on. Disneyland Designers, Mark Davis, and The Wet Imagineers. Now there's a whole bunch more episodes. They're all on YouTube. You can go watch all of them on YouTube. But these are the five, the, these are the one, six that specifically pertain to Disneyland in some way, that have some mention of Disneyland. So that's why they're included here. I did not include ones that don't talk about Disneyland. But if you want to see those, this is just the audio, but if you want to, you can also watch these with the visuals on YouTube. The sound won't be as good because I spent a lot of time cleaning this audio, believe me. The one I just added this morning, it was originally 27 minutes, but I cut out a bunch of stuff that was talking about Disney World, so I shortened it quite a bit. But uh, this took me three days to edit. So oh there my you gosh. Go. Yeah, 18 <laughs> minutes took me three days. Yeah. So, then the last song I, uh, last track, it's not a song, I added, is Disney's Magic in the Magic Kingdom, which was a TV special that aired in 1988. It, it was hosted by George Burns, who tells, like, jokes in front of the castle. It's quite bizarre. It's got Harry <laughs> Anderson 
and uh, it, it it they go around Disneyland doing magic. Like there's a guy that puts himself in like this cage, and they submerge him in the submarine lagoon, and he has to break away from this cage without you know kind of like a Houdini type stunt. And then at the end, Siegfried and Roy make Sleeping Beauty Castle disappear. So, and it's then they keep saying this is there's no video tricks. This is all live recorded with no editing. So they did. Sure. They did something to make One it look like the castle disappeared. Tiger. Well, that came years later, but. <laughs> <laughs> So this is kind of a funny little time capsule. So that's everything, Brian. That's everything I added. And All right. I well, just we'll see have everybody four next more month. things oh, to wait. add. Oh, wait. We've got more. No, I wanted to share something else with you all. Yeah. We brought okay. this up uh, last time, but I wanted to further discuss it with you, Brian. Yeah, and we got a lot of feedback from, uh, from you guys uh, as to what we should be calling. Uh, this website. Oh, I didn't so see those. Kinda... What were some of the names? Because I didn't see that. Oh, you didn't see it? I didn't see well, the me, name um... suggestions. All right. Well, go ahead and explain what this is, and I'll you um, pull it up. Open up YouTube and, and well, look at some of the comments. <laughs> since I only have four tracks left to add, and uh, so this project that I've been working on for over nine years is coming to an end and I am gonna have a lot of time on my hands and I'm gonna ha need to have something new to keep me occupied so I asked Brian if he would like to create a website with me together actually it'll be his website that I will help him create it and uh, what it's going to be is a website to host all the audio from his new record collection he just started um, collecting Disney albums, and he has over 200 already, and it's growing, and so this uh, site will be a way for everybody to listen to these albums and to see the album covers and the liner notes, and it's just a way to share all the, the audio from all of these vintage Disneyland records and others. There's some Disney records that actually aren't Disneyland records that Brian has. But, um, so that's what this is gonna be. And we're still in the early planning stages. I asked Brian if he could kind of make categories of the different types of albums so we can make different chapters, sort of how we have my website now split into chapters so for example we could have a chapter called Disneyland where any music or albums that have anything to do with the parks can be put on that chapter then we can have story time I'm just these this is all subject yeah, to change we could do like <clears throat> the magic mirror series or yeah the live action film series or we could do we could do uh, film soundtracks and and then another chapter film storytellers so divided and then we that could have way. like one of those wacky chapters where it's like story non Disney story time because there's a lot of albums that Disney put out that are not yeah like Wizard of related Oz to like and other things films like yeah. Heidi or Wizard of Oz Sound of Music um, the Sound of Music yeah yeah Ooh. I'll have to buy that album then. <laughs> I think it's just the, the songs. I don't yeah. think it's the story. But uh, yeah, so we're thinking about that. Did you get the names? Uh, there was one from uh, Can Canal Conagon. Okay. Do you know who that is? Oh, well, I thought that was the name suggestion. Commenting. It's like that's yeah, an no, that was name. the name of the commenter. Oh, <laughs> I, I'm probably not pronouncing your name right. I'm sorry, but Canal, Conagon, Canoe, Canoe. No, <laughs> <laughs> it's K A N A O. K 
Hey, uh, hey. Uh, yeah, Anyhow. they said that uh, the people and places series of records sound very interesting. So there's one category or true life adventures. We could probably put those together. Well, there's only one people and places that ever got. Yeah, released. there was only one album, right? <laughs> it's two. It's got one. It's actually two, but they're all, both on the same album. One side yeah. is Switzerland, S- and the Samoa. other side is Samoa. Even yeah. though the record, you can see the album cover, it looks like SAMHSA, but it's actually, that S <laughs> is actually it's an O, but it looks an like an S. Yeah. SAMHSA. Well, <laughs> the name they suggested was Brian's Disneyland Vinyl Adventure. So oh. That's kind of cool. Sounds yeah. epic. I don't know if I want to use my name. That's, that's I think I want to... It's more of a celebration of Disney vinyl than it is a celebration of of what have you my work, <laughs> yeah. So even though it does take quite a deal of effort to um, to record and and clean up the audio, but uh, it's just something we want to do. Put these out there for you guys to listen to because there's a lot of albums that have never had like a CD release or mm-hmm. that. You know, just and some are rare and uh, difficult to obtain. So, uh, if this is just a little fun thing that we can do for you guys, um, I thought there were more than that, uh, but I don't see them. Oh, I made oh, wait, a suggestion, but you didn't I'm sorry. Like it. <laughs> there's, there's more. Oh, okay. I have to click on that where it says "see more of the comment." <laughs> oh. Uh, this one's from uh, Blinker Eye One Two Three, a faithful listener and supporter. Oh yeah, he goes way back to uh, yeah. before my website. Yeah. So he says, for Brian's site, how about Disney Music, Magic, and Memories, or Disney's Long Playing Dreams? I like that one. Oh, yeah. I like or the long Disney the play on Disney. words there. <laughs> Disney's Long Playing Dreams, yeah. Because I think the majority of the albums we'll put up there will be LPs. Mm-hmm. You haven't yeah. started collecting 45s yet. That's a whole other can yeah, of worms. I have to a open. lot of them, but it's just. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the thing with 45s is most of those songs are on LPs. So. Well, the story, the, like there. the little golden records, that's a whole yeah. other can of worms. Right. to open up yeah and it's hard to find good quality sounding ones that aren't all scratched yeah, up all, because not all scratched up there's actually a very good site which has sort of remained untouched for many years but there's a huge amount of 45s on there it's called mouse vinyl it's run by dave from Nostalgia. Oh, nostalgia. Yeah. But he mm-hmm. hasn't done anything with it in years. It's, it's still up. It's everything's still available, but he hasn't added to it or updated it in at least 5 years, maybe longer. Yeah. And and our site will be something similar to that, but it'll be in a format and an organizational structure that you're all familiar with. And the vinyl will be like near CD quality, maybe even better. Because <laughs> well, Chris is really good. I don't know about at... that. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm just, I'm just giving you some credit. I can't make any you promises. Do... <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, some, it, some of it is just, uh, yeah, difficult to clean. But you, you may hear an occasional pop or click, but that's the vinyl experience anyways. Um, yeah, so oh, the last names? one was the listening experience or Disney the listening experience <laughs> my suggestion was Disney Brian's site like mine's Disney Chris <laughs> but Brian yeah. Brian the analogous no version yeah <laughs> I kind of like Disney's long playing dreams maybe, maybe that'll what was that last one Disney the listening experience Disney's long playing listing experience. No, um, no. There's there's he has three suggestions. No, I'm One, combi- I'm combining Oh, you're it. combining it. Yeah. Disney's, Disney's long, long playing, playing listening experience. Listening experience adventures. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
the adventure of Disney's long playing listening experience music magic and memories here you go <laughs> what's the acronym for that Summer Babbles your pajama. Anyway, I yeah. hope you all have okay. a happy, healthy, and safe 4th of July. Please be safe if you are doing fireworks. And please don't. Because, I don't know. I just have, I think it's, just go watch them. Have a Watch a professional do them. It's so dangerous. They're legal <laughs> in Rhode Island, and people shoot them off. From June 1st through, like, October 31st, every night. Like, I have a fireworks display out my window in my neighborhood every night all summer. But uh, it gets crazy on the 4th of July, of course. But yeah, yeah. I don't have to go anywhere Texas. to watch fireworks. <laughs> I can watch them from my window. There you go. Well, out here in Texas, they have these little launchers you and, and the little firework balls, and you, like, light them, throw them down the, the launcher, and they That's shoot they up in the That's what they do here, too, yeah. 50 feet. Yeah, they do that here. Yeah, I mean, these crazy. are industrial <laughs> fireworks going off yeah. in my neighborhood. They're not little sparklers. There's They're shells the going off. There's yeah. fingers and toes as well. So. Yeah, eyeballs. Eyeballs. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> So, yeah, thanks, everybody, for uh, listening, and we'll talk to you all next month. All righty. See you in se- uh, August. <laughs> okay. You don't know. <laughs> Bye, There's everybody. a song called See You in September. but Yeah. <laughs> anyway. All right. Bye-bye. Talk to you soon. Probably the next update, I'll be able to tell you I'm done. So... Keep your fingers crossed. Bye-bye. Adios.